Hey guys, how are you? What do you here? And uh, my trusty looking Nick, Mike on the phone, on the camera. Hey, thank you. Uh, hey guys, listen, uh, Jiu Jitsu, martial arts, whatever, it's like chess, right? We only have like a limited amount of uh, moves or, or, or figurines or whatever, and they can only certain, uh, they, they can move certain way, but the combination is infinite, right? So front head like okay, guillotine is this, right? Uh, but sometimes you find yourself some kind of weird movement, and that's what I would like to share. I'm a huge fan of uh, front head like guillotine, uh, uh, and uh, yesterday my, my boy Luis was visiting, and I caught him in a guillotine, and I had like a very unorthodox uh, way uh, uh, to get the finishing position. It was kind of cool. So it started with Luis shooting. Good on you, Luis. It was very nice. He, he timed me. That's not happen often with him. But he timed and he shot under this arm. Yeah. Of course, immediately, immediately, I caught, uh, I caught neck or whatever, right? And uh, now we have a dilemma. Blue guard or finish the guillotine or whatever, right? Uh, but it's going to be take down to this guy. Or this guy, no matter what. So what I chose, I chose to have faith uh, uh, in my front headlock, right? And I sat on my hip. And usually another, because what Nick wants to do right now, he wants to run towards my head, towards my head and flatten me out, just like that, all right? And possibly finish with one floor. And uh, often what people do, they bail in this position. Uh, they try to regard immediately, which is not wrong. It's not wrong, it's the correct thing to do. But uh, I like things unorthodox. So what I would do, I would, you know, uh, put my faith in uh, in his hand right here, just like this. Okay. Uh, try not to keep it uh, in front of you because he can collect it and push you down. Right, Nicky Grepper? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or uh, it's just an insufficient base on the back, so it needs to be here. Okay. And he will start running. He will start running, and I will start adjusting. But no, yes, yes. And I have faith in my chin strap, and I stay here for a while. So usually, normally, what I do, uh, uh, nobody can run forever. Once they stop running. I'm gonna switch my hip position from my left to my right, and that is when it's over, okay? Once I fall on the side of the striker hand, yeah, in your hand configuration does not matter, all right? Uh, could be leg, could be chin strap, under hook, over hook, hands together, uh, it does not matter. Once you're in this position, just make sure that you reduce the hole uh, while you still sit it, right? So the hole is super tight, Nicky, you're about to be choked, right? And only then you fall, only then you fall and maybe you come up on top, and play all the stuff, right? But if you are, uh, uh, what happens if you do not take your time, which might happen, as you snap in your front head, but as you're going back, he's gonna pull his head out. So have some faith, guys. Make sure that you secure, uh, uh, make sure that you secure this, right? And his knee runs around, so I have faith, and then I sleep here. But what happened with Luis, not only he, uh, 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 it's not even a body lock, he secured legs, or the double leg. And uh, I had a lot of faith in my post, but I was getting tired and I could not get my legs free, right? So what happened? We want to make Nick, a lucky hands together. Yes, yeah, you see what I'm saying, guys? So he wants to put me here, and I have my, only my arm, and Jesus is saving me right now, okay? And I, can, I cannot keep out, uh, so I'm on the side of this hand. Right but what happened was fantastic. So by overdriving, by uh, trying to compete and put me on my back and possibly go for one flu strangle, right? It gets my freight. I created a lot of tension. And then I get a gravity roll. I roll this way, made a little adjustment, and finish my little guillotine. Uh, it was completely not premeditated. It just felt natural, right guys? So it just goes to show you again that all moves, no matter how unordered or complex, are basic moves. Jumps, rolls, squats, lunges. Uh, splits, whatever, and in, in my case it was a Grammy, all right? And, uh, you know, I was a little proud of this piece. So, let's look at it again, starting from this position. After the bell shot, Nick grabs over the wall, he hits the left ahead, and I roll out like this. Uh, note, I did not have him loaded on my hooks. There was no butterfly action, right? There was no loading like a machine, like a Shaolin slip or whatever. Uh, uh, I only had momentum, uh, the one he created, and a tight headlock because I secured here, and that's what worked, all back to basics. So guys, uh, hope you enjoyed this piece, you know, uh, I surely enjoy, and see you next time.